stimulus discrimination is a procedure often used to help a learner to differentiate among objects and their features. We use the word stimulus to refer to any object or event in the learner's environment. Anything we see, hear, touch, smell, taste, or feel is considered a stimulus. Usually, a stimulus discrimination procedure is conducted by a therapist at a table. However, this can also be done by a trained caregiver in the child's natural environment. Presented here is an example of what a stimulus discrimination training session may look like. First, find a workspace free of distractions. Next, get your materials ready. You will need Various objects of different shapes, colors, sizes, and categories. Reinforcing items. In this example, we used a variety of edible reinforcers. Pen and data collection form. This should be provided to you by your case supervisor. The trainer or therapist places two or more items in front of the learner and provides the cue or verbal instruction. Give me the, ball. the learner responds by correctly differentiating between the ball and the jump rope. The trainer provides social praise and a reinforcing item, making sure to record whether the learner made a correct or incorrect response on the data collection form. That's right. Let's watch a few more trials with varying targets. Point to the one you can drive. Good job. Give me the clear cup. You got it. This is just one example of the many ways we teach stimulus discrimination. Remember to speak with your case supervisor regarding training on specific procedures.